Hey everybody, what's up? It's Jira, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to make this voice. This world doesn't know the meaning of fear. Shall we educate them? Now, two things right off the bat. First of all, this voice was not made solely in Audacity. Most of it was done in Audacity, but uh, some of it wasn't. Uh, the two, like, the, I did add some effects in Cool Edit Pro, so... I'm not sure if you'll be able to do this with another free editing software. I mean, you could probably do it with Wavasaur and a free chorus plugin. But, uh, yeah. So if you have Adobe Audition or Cool Edit Pro, you may be able to do it. Uh, you'll definitely be able to do it. So, uh, if not, I'm sorry. I'm not sure if I can help you. But I'll put in the title specifically that this requires Cool Edit Pro. So, yeah, you really have no right to complain. Uh <laughs> I mean, unless you're like, oh, Adobe Audition's too expensive, in which case, yeah, you're right, which is why I still have Cool Edit Pro. Uh, second of all, you're probably like, that's not your voice, is it, Dura? No, it's not. This was voiced by a good friend of mine, Psyche. This world does not the meaning of fear. This is the voice clip she sent me. Oh, no, my awesome lap fox thing. <laughs> this is the voice she sent me. This world does not the meaning of fear. Shall we educate them? Uh, so... Yeah, that's not my voice, obviously. Like, the actual acting bit isn't too difficult to nail down. I'm gonna delete this like I did in the original, because I feel like there was a bit of a long pause. But, uh, I'll send you the link to the voice actress's YouTube ch pages and uh, SoundCloud. Uh, she's really cool, really nice person, and uh, <laughs> she's pretty good voice actress, even though she's, like, just starting out, I think. So, you know, the voice bit's simple to nail down. This world doesn't know the meaning of fear. This world doesn't know the meaning of fear. Shall we educate them? So yeah, that's that. It's not like super like. It's not like overly bassy like this voice. And it's not like kill your throat like my Kazakh's tutorial. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I did do a male version, which is much more like monstrous. Hers was kind of like more like a AI, which is funny because I think it kind of sounds like Shodan. So anyway, let's get to the actual tutorial, the part you're all waiting for, and I've kept you waiting, sorry. So what we're going to do is first, you're going to want to record that, and this first part's in Audacity. So record it, duplicate, control D, or you can just go up here, duplicate. And then take this track, highlight it, pitch shift it, minus 6%. This world doesn't know the meaning of fear. Shall we educate them? Then if I remembered correctly, I turned that down a bit. And then, apply a phaser. This is the default setting with a few tweaks. Uh, so, default phaser uh, with the changes of uh, stages are 24, dry wet, 152. So, let's just go through the whole settings. Stages, two, 240, I mean, 24, sorry, the uh, dry wet, 152. LFO frequency 0.4, LFO start phase 0.0, .0 depth 100, feedback 10. So do that, and then normalize because that kind of messes with the level. This world does not know the meaning of fear. Shall we educate them? Now control, mix, and render. This world does not know the meaning of fear. And you're probably like, but that's not, like, that doesn't sound that good. Well, I did say we did this in a... We did some post-processing in Cool Edit. So, uh, save that as a WAV file. I always suggest saving as a WAV file. Go to Cool Edit Pro. That may load on my second monitor. Yep. Boom. Now, open that file. And now, and like I said, you could probably do this with Adobe Audition because Audition's pretty much Cool Edit Pro just upgraded. It's like, <laughs> it's kind of like the difference between FL Studios editions. Anyway. This world does not know the meaning of fear. You got that? And now, what you want to do is go to Delay Effects, Chorus. Uh, so thickness, four voices, max delay, 8.2 milliseconds. Uh, this is the voice I worked on last, so it has the setting saved. Uh, delay rate, 3.79 hertz. Feedback, 6.8%. Spread, 50.3 milliseconds. Vibrato, vibrato depth, zero, and vibrato rate, 0.1 hertz. There won't be a vibrato because the depth is at zero course that whole thing this world does not know the meaning of fear shall we educate them and one last thing 
Dynamics Processing Compress. I mostly use the graphic compressor, just take this line, drag it around until I get something I like. And for this one, it was right there. This world does not the meaning of fear. Shall we educate them? This world. And so yeah, we got that. And then there's something I like to always do, which is put fade out on the beginning of each like little pause or fade in and fade out at the end. And then just amplify to negative dB in the pauses. But you don't have to do that. That's just something I like to do and something I learned from watching String Storm and edit his somber voice. It just makes it sound a lot more natural. So yeah, I'm not going to do that whole thing. But this is what you get. This world does not the meaning of fear. Shall we educate them? I hope this helped. Oh, and as always, I always do this. You want to normalize. To 100% or 0 dB. This world does not the meaning of fear. Shall we educate them? So that's how you get that voice. Again, if you don't have Cool Edit Pro or Adobe Audition, I'm sorry. Uh, you could probably do it if you download Wavasaur and a free uh, chorus plugin. I'll put a link to VST for free chorus and uh, Wavasaur. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope this tutorial has helped you. This has been Dura, and I will see all you lovely people later.